I worked on that being period correct so hard. I mean, all the bodies in those days were not sort of right up like we are now. The body was held. Masquerade was difficult. First of all, to have to do a number of that immensity, it is a huge number, with a huge staircase across most of the stage, I despaired. The second act opens, it looks amazing. It looks like we have 150 people up on that stage. My mentor, George Abbott, he went to see it and he just loved it. And he said to me, how can you afford all those people on stage at the opening of the second act? And I said, well, we can't actually. And, but he, he hadn't spotted that there were all those dummies th who have been rigged so they move when you touch them. So the, the dancing ensemble just brushes past them and they, they shake. So you begin to think, Lord, have you ever seen so many people on a stage? all those dummies, and I knew the only way we'd get away with the dummies is if I made the real people talk to them and flirt with them so that in the end, you, as an audience, you're thinking, hold on, are they, are they there or aren't they? And that's why I started it with all those tiny, brittle movements that they do speaking to each other so that the audience is looking at like a cut diamond and not sure which is human. I worked on that being period correct so hard. I mean, all the bodies in those days were not sort of right up like we are now. The body was held. <laughs>